Slime and Slay Monthly Tip. Hey guys, welcome back to this month's monthly tip on Slime and Slay Outdoors. For June, we're going to be showing you how to clean a crappie. We just got off the water, caught some crappies. We're going to demonstrate how to clean a crappie. So yeah, there's one of our crappies. Let's get after it. We'll meet you back inside. Well guys, this is what I first start off with. I lay down some, just some plain old newspaper. I have my flay knives, a bowl of water to put the flays in, an empty bucket just to put the, the crappie uh, dispose of it, and then a paper bag to put the newspaper in when I'm done. All right, let's get the crappie now. All right, here's our crappie. Now let's show how to clean them. First off, I like to obviously lay them down. And uh, I start with, uh, I have two knives. I start with a littler knife. You can do it all obviously with one knife, but I like to do with two. So what I like to do is I start up, here's his fin. I start right behind it here, and I'm gonna poke way down toward the belly and go all the way through. And you'll be able to just kind of crunch them all the way up. And now I like to angle right up toward the back. Up toward the head, I guess you could say. Right there, I'm gonna angle up back. So good meat there and there. Make sure it's all the way through. So now, I'm gonna go along his back here. I'm gonna see right above this, uh, this fin here. I'm gonna go right above his back and um, you'll be able to feel the bones when you're going along it. And I'm gonna go all the way back to the tail. And I go out right in there about halfway back. I like to go all the way through on the other side of the fish. So I'm going to poke my knife and you'll be able to see it come out. So there's my other side right there and I'm all the way through it. Now you're going to want to take your knife and angle down toward the tail to get all the meat as much as you can. You're going to have to push pretty hard on the fish to be able to get, get to the back. So I'm going to just keep cutting. So now I'm all the way back to the tail. So now you can kind of lift up on, on its skin there. And you'll be able to see the meat and you're going to want to go down below obviously the meat into its back. You can hear me hitting the bones, trying to get all the meat as possible. Right in there, now I'm toward the, the center of its belly. And now there will be some bones right in the middle there. You're gonna wanna kinda stay above those. Those are the, the rib bones. And I'm gonna stay right above them. You'll be able to hear me just tickle them. Staying right above them. And just keep cutting all the way to the back. Now I'm gonna just cut it all the way to the back of its tail. There, flip them over. There, so there's the, all the meat. Nothing really left on the fish at all. Uh, maybe a little tiny bit toward its belly. So now we're gonna take our big knife and we're gonna cut down on, on, the, on the tail part, hold it down, cut down. And once you're, once you're hitting the skin, you're gonna wanna take your knife and angle it and just flay the meat right off. See, it came right off. This part always gets hard when it comes off the tail. I'm just running my knife and holding that skin. There. I'll take the skin and just throw that in the bucket. There. One big piece of meat. Now, before we're done, right in the middle of its in the middle of its meat, you'll be able to feel some bones. So now I'm gonna take those out. And you could, what you could do is just cut and get the rest of that belly meat out, but since I have quite a bit of meat here, I'm gonna just cut that center line out. And it only goes about halfway back. You'll be able to feel them with your finger. Cut there. Cut there. There. Now the pieces will be kind of like a V, and uh, actually you can t kind of tell 
that there's quite a bit of meat left still on the back because it's only about goes about halfway back the bones do so yeah that is one really nice chunk of meat right there and I'll just put them in my bucket and we'll clean them off later now I'm going to do the other side There. Now I got the other side done. And again, a really nice chunk of meat on about a 10 and a half inch crappie going in the bucket. And I just take the, the guts and throw them in the, the bucket to get rid of later. Well guys, hopefully this video uh, helped you show how to clean a crappie. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.